If you want to create animated children's story videos with consistent characters and make money on YouTube, then this video is for you. In this video, I'll show you how to create visual stories with consistent characters and scenes using AI. Many of you have commented on how to generate consistent characters, and today your problem will be solved. After watching this video, you'll be able to easily create a consistent storyboard without needing multiple tools. Stay tuned! Let me introduce you to Catalyst AI. With Catalyst AI, you'll not only be able to write compelling scripts, but also transform them into stunning, professional quality storyboards in minutes. It can help you turn your ideas into dynamic, high quality storyboards with minimal effort. Whether you're a content creator, filmmaker, or someone who simply loves visual storytelling, Catalyst AI is the perfect tool to level up your projects. Stay with me until the end and you'll see just how powerful and easy this tool is to use. The link to this tool is in the description below so you can sign up from there. After signing up, you'll see a dashboard like this where I have already created a few projects. Now you have two options, upload your script and AI script assistant. If you already have a story, you can upload it here. If not, just paste your idea into the AI script assistant and this AI will generate a full script for you. And it's not just a script, Catalyst will also generate a storyboard based on the script. If you're happy with the script, you can continue from there. All right, now that's how you can generate a script using AI. If you want to create a custom story, just go to ChatGPT, type a simple prompt like write a short children's story and hit enter. Within seconds, ChatGPT will generate a random story for you. But remember, this is just an example. If you want to make YouTube videos, you'll need to generate longer stories. Okay, for now, I'm going to use the story we just created. I'll copy it, go back to Catalyst AI, click paste from clipboard, and paste the story here. Then I'll hit continue. Now you can see our script has been broken down into different parts, and the video will be generated accordingly. You can even make changes to these parts if needed. Perfect. The first thing you need to do is enter a project name and then choose the aspect ratio. Next, you'll need to select an art style. There are plenty of options available and you can choose any style that best fits your story. Since we're creating a children's story, we'll go ahead and select the animation style. After that, simply click create project. At this point, the tool will start generating the images and this process can take up to a minute. Okay, as you can see, all the scenes have now been generated and the image quality looks amazing. But for now, we've only created the scenes and images. Now let's learn how to convert these images into beautiful animations. But before forward here, you get an option to add a new character to your story. You can either use pre-made characters or create your own by going to my characters and generating one. All you need to do is type a prompt and your character will be generated. However, this feature is especially useful when you want to show a character consistently throughout your story. All right, let's convert these images into animations. To convert an image into animation, just click on edit. You will now see a new interface where you'll have different controls. On the right side, you have the option to edit the shot. If you don't like the image and want to change it, you can modify the prompt here. Next, we have framing options. This section includes two features, angle and shot. And I really love both of these features. Let me explain why. With the angle control, you can generate the same image from different angles. For example, you can see that we now have various angle options. Choose whichever angle you prefer. I'll go with shot from below. Then in the shot option, I'm selecting long shot. Now, watch the magic happen. After this, we have the action feature. If you want to make changes to your prompt, you can restyle your image and you can even add negative prompts. Next is the location feature, which is amazing as well. With this feature, you can place your character in any setting. As you can see, we currently have two location options, a colorful forest and a river. You can also add a new location. Once you've done all of that, just click generate. Now look at this magic, guys. We have different variants of the same image, and you can clearly see the differences in angle and shot. Although all the images are great, of course. I'll go with this one. All right, let's move to the controls on the left side. On the left, you also have some controls, like downloading all these images. There's another feature here that I really like, the character posing tool. This tool allows you to control the pose of your character. Just click here, and the tool will analyze the character. Then you can adjust the pose in any way you like. This feature works best when you have a human character. For example, take a look at this. You can easily change the character's pose like this. This feature is honestly incredible, and I highly recommend you try it out. All right, let's move on to the next amazing feature, Generative Fill. This feature is super cool. Let me show you why. To use it, simply click on the Generative Fill tool, then brush over the area where you want to add something. For example, I want to add a small bird in this scene, so I'll write small birds in the prompt and hit Generate. Boom! You can see that a new image has been generated, and the bird has been added perfectly. All the generated images look great. So I'll go ahead and select this one. Now it's time to turn this image into a video. To do that first, make sure the image is selected, then simply click on generate video. Boom! Within seconds, the image has been transformed into a video and look at the animation, it's amazing, right? If you wanna tweak the animation, you can adjust the motion settings here. You have four types of motion options, less motion, 
medium motion, more motion, and extreme motion. I recommend not going beyond medium motion because the higher the motion, the more unstable the results might be. But if you're curious to try, feel free to experiment. Let's check it out. Currently, medium motion is applied, but if we want to reduce the motion a bit, I'll select less motion, choose the image, and hit generate. Now you can see that the motion has been applied, but notice that the rabbit's eye isn't blinking. This is why I suggested sticking with medium motion for the best results. Since I prefer the first motion setting, I'll assign this video to the storyboard. You can also download this video directly from here if you want. Now let's go back to the storyboard. As you can see, we've only converted one image into a video, but all the remaining images are automatically ready to be converted into videos. You just need to click on each image one by one, and within a minute, all the images will be converted into videos. As you can see, most of the images have been beautifully transformed into videos. Now, if you need to make changes to any video, simply click on edit, and from the general motion options, you can apply different motions. If you're still not satisfied with the results, turn off the toggle, and it will switch back to image mode. Here, you can change the angle and shot style to generate a new image in a different style. As you can see, new images have been generated. I'll select one of them and convert it into a video. Now we have three videos in total, and I'll add the best one to the storyboard. All right, you can now see that all the images have been beautifully animated. Some of these animations look really cool, like this one. It looks quite realistic. If you want to preview the storyboard in video format, simply click play, and the entire video will play. All right, if you want to remove or edit the subtitles, you can easily do that here as well. Perfect. Once everything is set, simply export the video and it will download. This is how you can easily convert any static image into a video and create an animated storyboard. Now you might be wondering, what's next? Let me guide you. You'll need to convert the story into a voiceover and then use any video editing software to sync the voiceover with the video, making sure the animation is perfectly timed. Hmm, while it may sound easy, it does require some effort. That's why I recommend watching this video, where I explain step-by-step -step how to edit videos, including matching the voiceover perfectly with the scenes, adding background music, sound effects, video effects, and everything else. Be sure to check it out. The link is available in the description below. And if you'd like to see more advanced tutorials on Catalyst AI, let me know in the comments. Soon, Catalyst AI will introduce features like voiceovers and video editing, so you won't need any other tools. So, this was the complete tutorial on how to create a storyboard for animation videos using AI. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the AI tool helpful. If so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so you can get notifications as soon as new videos are posted. Also, if you're interested in automating YouTube Shorts and TikTok, make sure to check out these videos where I explain how I earn thousands of dollars with AI-generated Shorts and TikTok videos.